Have you heard of photo roulette? While it sounds like something high stake rollers would play at a casino in Las Vegas, it's actually an app that's popular with kids. Think Snapchat meets Jeopardy. Hi, I'm Brandon, one of the customer support managers at Bark, a parental controls company. I'm gonna walk you through photo roulette, what you need to know, how it works, why kids like it, and dangers to look out for. Playing the game. The point of photo roulette is simple, to guess which photos belong to your friends. The app will randomly select some photos from your phone, from all of your photos, as far back as you have them. Keep in mind, this could be years. Then, you'll start playing with other people. The app will randomly present a photo from someone's camera roll, and you'll all try to guess whose it is before it disappears off the screen. Whoever guesses correctly, the most times, wins. The game appeals to kids because you not only get an intimate glimpse into someone's world, you can also learn something new about them, whether it's hilarious, embarrassing, or strangely inspirational. How it works. Photo Roulette, available in both the App Store and the Google Play Store, is rated teen, or 12 and up. But keep in mind, there's no age verification or place to enter in your birthday, so an underage child could easily download it and start playing. Once you install it, it will present you with several screens of 16 photos each. If you see a photo that you wouldn't like others to see, you can choose to reject that batch of 16 photos. You can do this as many times as it takes to get the collection you want. It's all or nothing though, so it can take a while to get to the batch you'd like to use. There are also in-app purchases available that let players unlock additional features. These include video roulette, which lets you play the game with short video clips instead of just still photos, longer games so you can play continually up to 100 rounds, the plant a photo feature, which lets you insert a single strategically chosen photo into the game. Complete ad removal for all players in a game so you don't have to wait in between rounds. What kind of photos can pop up during the photo roulette? You're given very loose control over what photos can pop up during the game, but kids may not always understand what's dangerous. They also may not care if they're trying to play a spicy or inappropriate game. For example, nude or inappropriate pictures, either of themselves or safe photos of others. And even though the images only stay on the player's screen for a short time, it's possible to take a screenshot. And like with Snapchat, another popular disappearing photo app, a notification will appear if a screenshot happens, but there's no way to prevent it. There's also the chance that kids will share potentially sensitive information. Even if there are no inappropriate photos, there may be screenshots of personal information that's best not shared with others, like addresses, social security numbers, medical information, and more. Possible dangers. The chances of a delicate photo leaking due to a screenshot is one of the primary dangers of photo roulette. But in addition to that, this app could lead to hurt feelings and bullying among groups of friends, especially if someone sees a screenshot of a text message they're not supposed to see, for example. Finally, there's an in-game chat feature where profanity, inappropriate content, and more may be shared for all to see while playing. How Bark can help. Even though the app is recommended for kids 12 and above, we believe it's more appropriate for 16-year-olds and older. If you're worried about your child downloading and using Photo Roulette, Bark can help. Our powerful website blocking tool can help you make sure your child can't access it on their phone or tablet. I hope this video has helped you understand the dangers Photo Roulette can present to kids. Visit www.bark.us to learn more about Bark and sign up for a free one-week trial.